All right, everyone. So today I wanted to share with you guys a few tricks up my sleeve that are going to greatly increase the amount of awakening materials for equipment that you're going to be able to get. And this is going to be really, really important because you need a lot of awakening stones for your SSR gear. So of course, anything that you can do to give you a boost with this is going to be really useful. And I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. The first one here is really going to blow a lot of your guys' minds. Um, it's going to change your perspective on the game a bit. And uh, I'll get into it here in a second. I just want to show you this is probably the best way to show off that I do indeed have a pretty large amount of awakening stones right here and a lot of people have been asking in my comments you know how did you get so many awakening stones well this first thing here is a huge way that I got a majority of the awakening stones that I actually have on my account right now and in order to really show you guys this properly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my inventory so, of course, my inventory right now, I've got uh, 400 maximum spaces in my inventory. And this is going to count for your ingredients, cooking, your one-use items, and your miscellaneous. But when it comes to equipment, it has a separate um, item storage here. And for this one, I have 200. Um, obviously, if you guys haven't already, not a waste of gems at all in order to expand your inventory storage. Both of them are going to be really useful, so never feel bad about spending your gems on that. Uh, but the important thing about this right here is uh, these two numbers. So you've got your regular equipment storage, and then right next to it in blue to the right, you've got the equipment that you have equipped on your units. And the significant thing about this is that the equipment that you have equipped on your units is not going to count towards your regular equipment storage. So that right there is huge because you now know that you probably have a lot more equipment storage out there than you thought you did because every single unit that you have in your box is going to have the capability of equipping six different items. So that alone is a lot of extra storage. Now what this means is not only do you want to obviously prepare for a salvage event by getting as many SSRs in your regular equipment storage as you can, but now you have even more storage because what you can do is just put equipment on units that you probably don't really use that much. Just kind of use them as like bank or vault storage for your gear in a sense. And just to show you guys as an example here, I'm going to go ahead and equip a couple of additional pieces on this guy right here. We were at 138 equipped items, but now what we're going to do is we're going to equip some items here. And we're going to go back to my actual um, storage number for equipment. And you guys will see that it's now going to be at 135. So equipping items simply moves it from your regular equipment uh, storage to equipped items. And there's no limit on the equipped items, of course, except for the amount of units that you actually have. So what you want to do is in preparation for the salvage events, uh, what you want to do is you want to go and equip on all the characters that you don't use or use very infrequently. You want to use their six equipment slots as kind of additional storage here. And uh, obviously this is going to take a little bit more planning and preparation. You know, if you have to use a Word document or a spreadsheet to kind of keep track and make sure that you don't do anything with your good gear or don't mix up your good gear with the gear that you're just going to salvage or just use the locking system in game. That's another thing you can do. Keep the gear that you plan on salvaging in the future unlocked and the gear that you're using locked. Whatever it is, it's still absolutely worth it because this is a ton of additional storage for the salvage events. Now, speaking of the salvage event, let me just pull this up here so you guys can see. This will roll around again in the future. Now, we don't know exactly when. What we do know is that this is not as frequent as the half stamina events. The half stamina events, of course, are, you know, every other week. So we've got one week of half stamina that rotates through the boss stage, the free quests, and then the SP dungeon. And then we have one week off. Right now, we're actually in an off week, which is kind of when I like to do a lot of my planning preparation type stuff, including, you know, making videos like this. Uh, but the salvage event is not as frequent. We've only had one of them before. And we will get it again in the future, but you really want to prepare. And if you can, be efficient and use a lot of your extra units as storage for more pieces of SSR gear. That's just going to give you way more awakening stones and materials when the salvage event rolls around. Because you're going to get a huge boost to the stones that you get. So that's one thing that you want to do. And that's how I got a huge number of the awakening stones that I actually have on my accounts. I saved up a lot of stuff for that. 
Now, another important thing is uh, the kind of the question that a lot of people always like to ask themselves, um, and this has been answered a little bit, uh, but I'll, I'll kind of go over it here because it is important. Um, and that is, what do you actually do when you salvage your equipment? Do you salvage it without enhancing it? Uh, do you take it to plus one? That's what uh, some people like to do is just plus one it. Or do you take it to plus five? And the answer to this question is the more that you enhance it, you will get a higher return on your uh, chance of getting awakening stones. However, it costs more of the red stones here, and it's also going to cost gold. Now, keep in mind that taking it to plus one as well, what it's going to do is that will pay back the actual red stones that you use. So just to show you guys as an example, what I'm going to do is see this here. This will give me back four red stones um, with, of course, a chance of giving me awakening stones. Now, if I go and I enhance that equipment to plus one, what it'll do is when you take equipment to plus one, it's always going to give you a boost to the number of um, the red stones that you get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one to plus one. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to take this one to plus two. So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So you went up to plus one. Now this one is plus two. All right. And keep in mind that the gold costs go up quite a bit as well as you keep enhancing it. So plus one is also the cheapest cost uh, to enhance it. Now if I go to salvage here and I go to just the regular one, it's going to give me four of the red stones back with, of course, a chance of giving me the awakening stones. Now, plus one, this is where you're going to get the boost to the actual number of red stones. So essentially, the red stones that I spent to take it to plus one, I'm getting back uh, because now I'm getting four for the item and then four back, which is what it cost me to take it to plus one. But anything after that, though, it's still only going to give me the eight red stones. So not only is it an investment in red stones, but it's also a much bigger investment in gold. Because as you increase the enhancement level, the gold goes up quite significantly. But it will give you a higher chance of giving you awakening stones. So I think, uh, you know, a large consensus among a lot of people, and there's no particular one right or wrong way to do this. But what I've been doing is I will take SR equipment to plus one. And then I will take SSR equipment to plus five. Now, a lot of people don't even like to take SSR equipment to plus five. They'll just keep it at plus one. And everything that I just talked about with uh, the SR equipment, it applies to the SSR equipment as well. It's just SRs is going to give you um, a level up higher in terms of the stones that you get back. Now, the thing is, as you get more into uh, being an advanced player, playing for a while, uh, the, the cost in gold that it takes to get gear to plus five um, and also the red stones, it's not really that big of a deal um, compared to the return of getting more awakening stones. Like, I can farm gold pretty quickly. If I need gold, I can easily go and get the gold very quickly in order to take this gear up to plus five. Um, you know, you just get to that point in the game where you farm the, um, the, half, the half SP stages quickly and you can farm, you know, 40, 50 million gold in a weekend easily. Even if you're free to play, um, still, it, it's just gold becomes uh, easier to get as you play the game longer, whereas uh, Awakening Stones are always going to be important, especially when UR gear comes out. So that's kind of my general strategy right there. Now, the last thing that I want to mention here, which is really, really important, and another great way to not only get awakening stones but it's also going to be one of the main methods to get those red stones right there because you might have been wondering you know a lot of these things that i've talked about uh, they're going to be costly on the red stones like getting your ssr gear to plus five is not only going to cost gold it's going to cost these red stones as well and you're going to burn through a decent amount of them you won't get as many back as the amount that you burns to take ssr gear to plus five but that's where the uh, the gear gotcha actually comes in here so this equipment draw it's going to cost 200,000 gold for 11 draws uh, and what you want to do is you don't want to go crazy on this at a time like right now when you do go crazy on the equipment draw is same thing as when you save up all your ssrs and put them on other units for extra storage is when we have this equipment salvage up event so what you want to do is save as much gold for this as you possibly can and uh, because you're just going to be getting so many items from this, not even SSRs, you're just going to be getting a lot of R's and SR's and you're just going to be salvaging them like right when you get them. So obviously what you don't want to do is do a billion draws of the equipment draw outside of the salvage event and give yourself a lower chance of getting those awakening stones 
um, when you could wait for the salvage event, spend the same amount of gold to get more awakening stones. So that's primarily when you want to end up using your, um, your gold and doing your uh, draws. I will also say an important note for people who are still starting off, this is more of an end game type goal. Like you do not want to blow through um, the only gold that you have doing this. This is when you get a ridiculous amount of gold like I do, and you can farm, you know, that 40 to 50 million gold in a weekend by doing half stamina. Don't go crazy spending all of your gold on this. This really is more end game stuff. Another important noteworthy thing is this does give you anvils, which are also very, very important for gearing and improving your gear when you get more to the, you know, mid and end game. And eventually, eventually the equipment draw should also have hammers in this SSR section as well. So the equipment draw is just going to get more valuable over time once we get the training cave and hammers added to it. So keep that in mind. That's another reason why you probably don't want to go too crazy on this right now. And it's better to wait for... Uh, the uh, uh, salvage event and also for when they possibly add hammers to the equipment draw so all these combination of things that I've talked about in this video though have uh, given me the ridiculous amount of awakening stones that you see and that people have been uh, mentioning in the comments about for a while so hopefully you guys are able to use this information and advice to help you guys out I really hope that you enjoyed and if you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate all the support. Over a thousand subscribers recently, so thank you so much, everyone. If you want to help out as well, leaving a quick like means more than you can imagine, so thank you so much to all of you who do that. And more, Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross Global videos should be popping up on the screen right about now. Feel free to check them out. Lots of tips and guide videos like this. But if not, until next time, take care, everyone. And this is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.